Salve a tutti e ben ritrovati a questa nuova edizione di Chiasso News. Gaza. Medici senza frontiere. L'ospedale di Al-Aqsa è una nave che affonda. 6 giugno 2024. A seguito dei nuovi attacchi militari israeliani, nell'area di mezzo della striscia di Gaza. L'ospedale di Al-Aqsa, supportato da Medici senza frontiere, riesce a malapena. A far fronte all'afflusso di pazienti e di morti. Ascoltiamo la dichiarazione di Karen Huster, responsabile medica di Medici Senza Frontiere a Gaza. The scene inside the emergency room of Al-Aqsa Hospital is even worse than yesterday. They have no chance to reorganize from the days from yesterday's events and now they are struck again with mass casualties after mass casualties. The so-called red zone where the most critical patients are being seen is a devastation scene. It's a war zone. Patients are on the floor. There's blood everywhere. There are no beds to be seen. Dead bodies are not being taken to the morgue because the facility is overwhelmed. So you have to try and make your way and bring new patients, new critical patients to be cared for in the middle of people who have died uh, and new people who are being brought in. It's, it's just absolute mayhem. Alexa's hospital is a sinking ship. In the operating room, patients are lying on the floor on stretchers, coming from last night's bombings, waiting for a place in the operating theater. Unfortunately, because there is no triage or virtually no triage being done in the emergency department, several cases are being brought that are cases that honestly today, given the capacity of the hospital and given the capacity of Gaza, are cases that are not survivable. But yet it is incredibly difficult for um, the nurses and the physicians in the emergency department to not give hope. And so they send those patients to the operating theater uh, where unfortunately uh, we uh, have to give the bad news to families who were looking for hopes of survival for their loved ones and not news that their patient, their family member had died. The fact that there are so few hospitals remaining standing in Gaza just worsens the situation. There is no way to refer anyone to any other hospital. Even partner international organizations, hospitals, are asked to relocate because it is too unsafe for them to be there. And so wave after wave after wave of mass casualties arriving in Al-Aqsa stay in Al-Aqsa and die in Al-Aqsa. And yet, as our colleagues are saying, we are not surrendering. And I definitely can see that. I just am not sure for how long. Per questa edizione è tutto. Grazie per la vostra attenzione e a ben rivederci alla prossima edizione di Chiasso News.